Welcome to TNF Nightcap. I'm Carissa Thompson. Richard Sherman, Andrew Whitworth, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and Tony Gonzalez, and the Baltimore Ravens winning quarterback, Lamar Jackson. The victory for his squad, 27-22 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road. Lamar, you are now 2-0 against the GOAT. How does it feel? Um, it's all right. It's just all right? It's all right. It's regular season. Yeah? yeah? Oh, you don't seem excited. It's Sorry. just regular cool. season. Yeah. Just, just another win, huh? Just another win. Yeah, yeah there you go. Up. Well, let me ask you a question, too. A tale of two halves. First half, you come out there, you threw the ball 30 times. Yeah. Uh, second half, you guys went there and made some adjustments, starting to get back to the run. What was it at halftime that you guys talked about? Uh, basically, just keep doing what we're doing. You know, uh -huh. um, Coach, just, like you said, you know, he just made the change at halftime. And we just went and moved the ball down the field a lot smoother. And we executed. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about your confidence in Isaiah Likely and the way that he stepped up today and played? I'm extremely confident. You know, um, earlier this season, I was calling him the baby Mark. You know, and, you know, our guy went down today and he stepped up um, when we needed him to. You know, we just got to keep building, though, because see what it's early in the season. He's a rookie. Did you guys see something about him in practice, though? Has he been making those oh, heck plays yeah. showing up? Heck yeah. Um, we seen it in preseason. Uh -huh. Making wonderful catches versus Arizona. Um, Getting yak after the, um, after the catch, he's been doing a tremendous job. But, you know, tonight we just needed him a lot more. He showed yeah, it. He absolutely. came up when we needed him. Lamar, how about these fans? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the flock. Yeah, the flock. Unbelievable. They, Ravens get, flock. Uh, they was in power for tonight, too. I wasn't expecting them to be here like this. Yeah, they, they showed out. up. Yeah, yeah, they did. They needed some heat. Good <laughs> weather. You know what I mean? They came down to Tampa. But what I really want to talk to you about is the sign you picked up. And, you know, as somebody who represented themselves and, and wants you to get all the money you deserve, I know you ain't talking about it in season, so I ain't no make no you doubt. talk about it in season. No but pay the man. Give him his money and get to him guaranteed. For sure. And, <laughs> but let's talk about the second half and how y'all adjusted. Because it almost seemed like y'all was just experimenting with some stuff y'all wanted to try in the first half. And then the second half, y'all was like, we're going to run our stuff and we're going to run it down their throat. We're going to go home. Yeah, um, and, and uh, early in the half, you know, we had opportunities to put points on the board. You know, we just missed them. Uh, you know, we they gave us a, a, a man look, you know. They popped zone on us, you know, on the red zone. So we wasn't expecting it. It happened. You know, we just had to move on, couldn't turn the ball in. Right, right. Hey, tell me about, so that fourth and two in the first half, you yep. guys ended up getting it, but yep. the confidence that Coach has in you for you to be able to go over there and say, hey, let's don't kick this, let's go for it. Yep. How does that make you feel as a quarterback? Uh, made me feel comfortable. And how has that relationship grown as you've grown as well? As a uh, it pretty much grown in 2019. You know, uh, we playing Seattle Seahawks. And after that, you know, Coach just had faith in us. You know, um, I'm really mad we didn't get that because I feel like we still could have made that, you know, but I, I appreciate him, you know, for always giving us that chance to, you know, put enough, try to put points on the board. Lamar, for me, James Urban, I was with him in Cincinnati, and okay, I know okay. you have a good relationship with him, too. He told me that one of the things that's just so endearing about you is your love and your passion, that you just love to play this game and the passion that you bring every single week. What does that mean to you that your team, your coaches, they know that that's who you are week in and week out, the passion and love you have for just playing the game of football? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I feel like any quarterback would want that, you know, from that organization, you know, especially that coach who you got to see every day, sit in the meeting room with him every day. Um, and then, you know, Harbaugh, you know, um, it, it means a lot for me. You know, it made me want to go out there and do what I was supposed to do and win the game. Well, I got to thank you because I'm the coolest dad on the planet because no my doubt, boys no are at the game. <laughs> they got the Lamar Jackson jerseys on. That's I mean, I get to go home as a proud dad because they got a chance to see Lamar in person. So I couldn't thank you enough. <laughs> Pay this man, please. Everything. So, Lamar, it's, it, Lamar, one of the toughest things about playing on Thursday night is obviously the short week. But then the great thing about it, because you get those 10 days off. Going forward now, what are you guys going to work on on these next 10 days to go out there and make a Super Bowl run? Um, be honest, everything. You know, everything we can get good at. You know, the little mistakes that we're making out there, try not to make those in the long run. Um, I feel like we clean everything up. We'll, we'll be, the sky's the limit for us. There's, there's not a whole lot of pointers I can give you, but one thing I'm going to tell you, Deshaun Jackson is really fast. I don't <laughs> oh, care no. that he's 35. He is really fast. He can roll. Fast. No doubt, no doubt. You know, um, I think Mike Vick told me the same thing. Of just throw it. He'll go get it. Just <laughs> throw it, he throw it as far as you can. I'm looking forward to it. I played on a team he was on last year that just happened to win the Super Bowl, in case that matters. So he was on a Super Bowl team last year. Mm -hmm. for part of the year. Part of the year. But why not give him another chance? At it? No doubt, no doubt, man. Hopefully we make it happen for him, though. And a lot of, um, a lot of other vets out there, too.
So, you know, Lamar, you lose your, your, your top two pass catchers and Mark Andrews and Rashad Bateman, yeah. injury, Gus, his hamstring. Yeah. It's part of the game. We get injuries are there. What did you learn about your team tonight and that next man, man, up, man up mentality? Our guys hungry. You know, they've been on the sidelines sitting there um, waiting for an opportunity. Um, it happened at come primetime game on Thursday night on a quick turnaround. Those guys played their butts off. Mm-hmm. James Prochet, you know, D-Rob, uh, likely. You know, all of our guys, all the offensive line. Shout out to offensive line, too, because they played terrific. Yep. Witt loves when you shout out offensive linemen. You know, I felt bad. We (laughs) talked about how good you guys played in the second half, and nobody had mentioned how the big fellas up front took that game over. And I really thought they did a heck of a job in the second half. Yes, they did. How have you continued to elevate? Because this league, as you know, you got an MVP, and you're still on your rookie deal, which is crazy. And every year they find answers to, to what you do, find answers. But they ain't found no answer for you yet. Like, how have you continued to evolve and work in the offseason? I'm um, studying and, and just keep trying to get better. You know, everything. You know, they, they say I can't throw. They say this and that. So I just work on what they say I can't do. Yeah. Just to show them when the time comes. And the time comes. So, so Lamar, last, la- last time uh, Tom Brady lost three games in a row, you were five years old. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? Look at this. That's you at five years old, right? That's crazy. Oh, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, I know we, uh, Carissa mentioned it at the top of the game. I, I'm not going to get you to talk about what it what it means to beat Tom. What about just watching Tom? You know, because I likely, I think, I tend to think this is going to be his last year. What do you think about Tom Brady? Man, it's self-explanatory. He to go. You know, I'm on the sidelines just watching, you know, the last drive, like how he was going to operate. I'm like, please keep him out of the end zone. You know, we don't need him. Scoring, then some miracle happened, they get on the side, then he go do what he do. You know, I'm like, man, please just make a mistake. You know, he's still Tom Brady at it, and they don't care how old he is. He's still that guy. <laughs> well. well, Lamar, congratulations on a great win on the road. You get New Orleans next, then you get a much needed bye week, get your guys all healthy. Congratulations on a great win. Appreciate you guys. You guys, Lamar Jackson, up, your winning quarterback. Pay him. Appreciate you. Lamar Jackson and these Ravens fans are very excited, and rightfully so. But still, Lamar says, it's just the regular season. It's been a week of big headlines for big-name quarterbacks. When we come back, we're talking Aaron Rodgers, Matt Ryan, Russell Wilson, and more.